Hello, my name is Kayla Skinner and I'm going to be explaining how to do an enteral feeding. So first I'm going to verify my physician's order, ID my patient, and check for allergies. I can ID my patient by asking them to state their name and date of birth while looking at their wristband or my electronic health record or paper record. Next I would wash my hands and put on clean gloves. And I'm going to prepare their enteral feeding by shaking a can of formula really, really well. And I'm going to pour it into a designated feeding bag and then I will connect my tubing and prime it. Next, I would put my patient in high Fowler's position and I'm going to verify tube placement by checking the pH and I'm going to check for residual amount. If my residual amount is less than 250 milliliters of uh, residual, then I would replace the contents back. If it is greater than 500 milliliters or if I checked it twice an hour apart and it was greater than 250 milliliters, I would stop the feedings. So now I'm going to flush my PEG tube or NG tube with 30 milliliters of water. I'm going to attach my feeding tube to the PEG tube or NG tube and I'm going to start the feeding per doctor's orders. If they ordered it bolus, then I would take the amount they ordered and I would instill it by gravity and after it was complete, I would flush it with 30 milliliters of water. Uh, for continuous feedings, it's going to be flushed every four hours with 30 milliliters of water. If it's uh, intermittent feedings, it's going to be flushed with 30 milliliters of water before and after the feedings. For my administration set and my tubing, it's going to be replaced every 24 hours. For uh, residuals, I'm going to check those uh, every four to six hours or per facility protocol. Um, for my abdominal site, I'm going to actually assess that and clean it daily. Um, also, if it's NG, I would assess that and clean it daily too. And then I would take off my gloves, wash my hands. I'm going to document the feedings. I'm going to document uh, the residual amount. I'm going to document what my site looked like, my abdominal site. I'm going to document um, how my patient was tolerating the formula. And I'm going to document my intake and output. And that is how you do an in enteral feeding.